this, uh, this lack of sleep is is a real struggle. <laughs> like at the end of the day, I'm always stressing about whether I'm gonna get like a full night's sleep, whether I'm gonna be exhausted the next day, or I'm just like Googling like how much it costs to get a nanny for a day. <laughs> Those are real thoughts. <laughs> It doesn't help that we're always staying up watching Grey's Anatomy. We're trying to clock in those hours for August to become a surgeon. <laughs> so we are hanging out with Angie and Ryan today. They are part of our bubble. We're very excited to see them. They get to they get COVID tested so often because of their work. We feel safe with them. <laughs> Probably safer to hang out with them than go to the grocery store. <laughs> So do you want to go get um, a bottle of wine for them? Yeah. Okay. What you got? Dom Perignon? No. <laughs> huh? Box wine? <laughs> you know we're late, right? I know. <laughs> August. Meet Edge. <laughs> I want to see your hair. I know. <laughs> Give those two. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> There's such nice people. Yeah. <laughs> and she did very well. She did so good. He's so nice and cute. I didn't know what to do with the diaper, so I just put it in the Ziploc bag. I was like, do people not really throw out their diapers? Proper etiquette on what you, you do. You come out in the, into the living room with the diaper in your hand. Where would you like this? She basically slept the whole time. Oh, she let people hold her. We fed her. What was that, August? What do you have to say? It's not Angela's fault that she's like that. <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh my god, this area is so nice. Look at the houses. I wish I had one of these. Huge properties. We're chilling. We were just hanging out with Bear. How stressed out were you when Mama was pregnant? Oh my god, he was so stressed out. Actually, we never even talked about what the labor from your point of view is. From my point of view. She's officially two weeks old. <laughs> It was obviously a little bit more fuzzy than your experience. I guess it was kind of like chaotic yet restful or peaceful. Peaceful, at the same yeah. Time. Right. So everything started like so early in the morning. Like I woke up to contraptions. Like I think I went to bed at midnight, fell asleep, about like two hours of sleep, and then woke up to like contractions. Mm -hmm. but like very very light ones but because i had already gone through that a couple nights prior and i didn't go into labor i didn't know if i was in labor or not so i was waiting a bit and um at about 4 4 15 ish <laughs> i decided to take the two tylenol and one gravel that my midwife suggested to do just so you can get sleep because yeah. it was going to be a long day but like literally like right after i took the pills my water broke <laughs> and like after my water broke it was like pretty intense contractions and they would get like I guess it build up we didn't go to the hospital till about 11 I didn't get any sleep <laughs> needless to say the gravel didn't do anything at that point because no the we were was... both we were so tired you got sleep then we got there <laughs> you were in a lot of pain I was in a lot of pain I was stopping on like pretty much everything to have contractions at that point because they were always close together yeah there wasn't a time that they weren't close together um, we were just waiting for them to get longer and when I started um, timing them they were like three and a half minutes already yeah got to the hospital registered <laughs> the only main thing i remember about walking through the hospital besides leaning on things is like trying to get on the elevator and as soon as it opened it was two girls i am obviously in labor <laughs> and they're like um only three people on the elevator so matt like shoved me in the elevator and like ran up the stairs and somehow got <laughs> to the second floor the same time i got to the second floor <laughs> and then i'm just in this elevator having contraction with these girls that wouldn't let matt on the elevator we didn't know if they're if we if we were going to be dilated enough and if you're not four centimeters they normally send you home unless they think there's something wrong um luckily i was five hospital was busy if you're doing the epidural you might want to um, get on the list because right away yeah, yeah. so we did the morphine first because I was really scared of getting the epidural didn't want to do it didn't want to be stuck in bed 
didn't want a catheter, just <laughs> didn't want that like the bottom half of my body to be numb. They gave me morphine because <laughs> they were like, you need something. <laughs> Ma'am, you need a shot. Ma'am, you butt. need some kind of drug. Because <laughs> I was in pain like the entire time. There was no resting in between <laughs> the contractions. It hurt in between. It was just horrible during. <laughs> Matt, I thought he was just rubbing like a section of my back um, because a lot of my labor was in the back and the nurse told him if he like applied pressure in this one spot it would help like like I guess take some of the pain away from me and so I thought he was just like kind of like rubbing it with some pressure but he told me the next day that he literally would have his leg up against well yeah out of fist right on her back <laughs> with all my might with yeah. my feet up against the wall and he said he would have to like hold his wrist <laughs> with his other wrist <laughs> and I'm like, oh, he's just gently rubbing my back. <laughs> so yeah, needless to say, I ended up getting the epidural, which thank God, because she got stuck in my pelvis, pelvic bone. Yeah, she got stuck. I pushed like for three hours as hard as I could and she was not budging. My, I guess they don't let you push longer than three hours normally, but also like my, my water had broke like so early on, they were kind of like, okay, this baby needs to come out mm -hmm. and she's not moving anymore. Yeah, she's getting tired. <laughs> they ended up, yeah, they ended up having to use forceps to get her out. So yeah, if I didn't have the epidural, I would have, I, I would have freaked out. Yeah, that would have been really bad. Out the forceps. <laughs> <laughs> when I was pushing with Nicole, when she was the midwife, that was there for my delivery. It was like super relaxing. The lights were really dim. It was really awesome with explaining like um, how to do the pushes <laughs> and everything yeah. was so relaxing. Like the whole three hours I was like super relaxed. Like it's so funny cause like the movies and all like the birth videos that you watch, it's like so hectic. <laughs> it's super hectic, yeah. And it <laughs> wasn't like that pushing, at all. It wasn't like that no. at all. Yeah, the doctor was like, we're gonna get her out of one push. <laughs> And we were I was like, like okay. okay. All of a sudden, there was a baby being tossed on me. Oh my god. <laughs> it was funny because everyone was like, oh my god, she's here. And I looked at Matt and you were like... <laughs> I was so shocked. Yeah, because you saw her come out. Yeah. And you were so cute. And your eyes were so alert right from the start. Weighing in at 8 pounds and 15 ounces. <laughs> That's why she got stuck. It was those extra 10 days. There she is, August J. She's almost back up to her birth weight now. Yeah, the healing sucked. We didn't sleep at all, like, really the next day. I think we got, like, maybe a nap in. It was bad. Yeah, because we, like, by the time we got into the room at 3 a.m., we were really tired already. Yeah, we were exhausted. She was crying all night. Both of us. We were no. all crying. <laughs> no, I, was, I guess, like, when they use forceps, you're just, like, like just very swollen. Yeah. Poor Matt, who... Um, does not do anything well when he's tired. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> he, he literally looks like he's about to die if he's tired. <laughs> I didn't even know he's never changed a diaper before. <laughs> <laughs> so added a newborn into the mix. He was exhausted and then I was useless. I, like anything I had to do with the baby for the first, what, like week? Like, cause I literally couldn't like walk. So anything that I was doing with the baby, Matt was bringing me the baby, mostly for feedings or if I wanted to hold her. Everything else he basically had to do. He was taking care of me and the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to like be beside her like in the bassinet and like touch her and stuff but I couldn't physically grab her and pick her up. I would, I just wasn't able to just grab her myself so every time she cried Matt would have to get up and bring her to me and then whenever I was done and like calmed her down and she was done eating or whatever she was doing at the time Matt would have to come back and, and take her from me and bring her back and then every diaper change he had to do. <laughs> this is very overwhelming for Matt at first. <laughs> Like it doesn't sound like a lot when you say it, it like this. It doesn't sound like a lot, but, but like, yeah. Add in two days of no sleeping and like you've obviously never done any of this before. He's never dressed a, a newborn. Yeah. Never picked up a newborn. Never changed a diaper. <laughs> and then he was doing it all all by himself with me like saying things from directing. the bed. <laughs> directing from the bed. <laughs> I mean, we're obviously better at it now. Yeah. <laughs> they also like kept us there because of my pain and the fact that she was losing weight like crazy. She wasn't feeding properly. She had a small tongue tie, which apparently she snipped herself because <laughs> <laughs> we went to a specialist to get it looked at and she said there was a remnants of a tongue tie, but it looked like she already like- She took care it. of it. Yeah, so we're going back in a couple of weeks. 
she was obviously new to the world and everything was new to her so it took her it's which is so funny because she's so calm now we were there for so long i felt like i lived there <laughs> no we had like we had like ingredients in the fridge <laughs> <laughs> we knew all the nurses yeah they were kind of like, you're in pain, I don't think you should leave. And also your baby should probably be starting to gain weight and not lose weight. Yeah. We had our bags packed. We were like, oh, no, we're leaving. Yeah. It was a good hospital. It's funny though, because they only feed me. Ooh, the jello was good. <laughs> the jello was actually pretty good. They make it with care. Um, I had a couple meltdowns. We both, uh, I felt like- I feel I like, like you were having secret meltdowns. <laughs> yeah, we were there for three days. We learned a lot. <laughs> Like so much stuff happened, she started drinking out of cups. Oh yeah, then we were feeding her through <laughs> using a cup. So then we had to take her off the cups. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you asked me two weeks ago, I would have said, I'm never doing this again. <laughs> um, <laughs> she laughed. <laughs> and obviously the best baby in the world. <laughs> in the world.